Welcome to Mrs. Shelton's art class. Today we are going to be doing resist super colorful cactuses. Uh, resist is where you use a crayon or an oil pastel um, to draw on and then use watercolor on top of it. So when the watercolor goes on top of it, it will not stick to wherever the crayon or the oil pastel is sitting. So notice we have a lot of little white spots in here. That's where I used a white crayon to create the resist um, so it will show up even after I watercolor over it. So today you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, some crayons or oil pastels, and some watercolors. If you're at home and you do not have any of these items, you can still do this entire project with just colors. So you're going to see how I made both of these, one with a black outline and one with just using crayons uh, with blue, green, yellow, and white crayons. I also, I think I also added a little bit of a red crayon here and a pink crayon to outline those uh, flowers. So let's get started. We're going to start with our pencil and we're going to start drawing our cactuses inspired by some of the up-close cactus pictures that we looked at in class. We're going to need to put at least two cactuses up close in our picture. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start down here at the bottom and we're going to go from the bottom into a straight line all the way up. And I don't need for it to be perfect. We're going to kind of curve it around and bring it back down just like this. It can be straight. It can be kind of off. Notice mine is not perfect. Now I'm going to add in some of my big cactus um, arms off this. So when I do that, I'm going to do a curved line just like this. And another curved line up. Curved line another curved line and we're going to connect. Now notice I went over my cactus here. We're going to erase this line. So why do we need an eraser for this? So it looks like this is growing out of our cactus. We're going to put another one down here. We're going to do a curved line. And we're going to go up like this and over. And it's okay if it goes off the page. Like mine, when I go take this part off, it'll be cut off like it's coming off the page. That's fine. I'm going to erase this line because that part's on top. I'm going to straighten that a little bit. Alright, so we have our basic shape of our first cactus in. Now I'm going to have my cactus blooming, so I'm going to add some little blooming shapes. I'm going to go up and I'm going to do a wavy line and another line connecting. I'm going to add another little flower here, wavy line and connect. Now I want to add kind of my basic for my little round cactus here. So I'm going to start here and do a big round shape. And it's going to go really big because we're up close. We're using the whole paper. I've got my round shape in. I'm going to erase this line from here to here because this one is in front of the other cactus. Now I'm going to put a flower on the top of this one. So I'm going to put a circle. And we're going to do kind of a big bloomy flower. erase that part because that flower is on top. I'm going to add some big circles. Do some of my texture that we saw on some of our cactuses earlier. Now we're going to add some lines uh, as texture to our big cactus. I'm going to start by doing a straight line straight down the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> and now I'm going to put a zigzag line. So I'm going to go zigzag up, down, 
Zigzag line in. I'm going to do another one right next to it. I'm going to come here and do another zigzag line on the other side of this one. And it goes all the way down. Notice I skipped a space because it kind of went behind the little arm of my cactus. Alright, so I'm going to add another line going here, kind of curving it at the top and then straightening, straightening it as I go down. And add another one coming out this way. And now we have the basic drawing for our cactuses. Uh, now let's start outlining. I'm going to use a black oil pastel, but you can also use a black crayon. I was going to take a minute now to talk about how to uh, paint the flowers in the background. Um, there's two techniques I've been using. One is painting directly on dry paper, which means that you take your brush, you dip it in the water, you get some paint, and you put it on the paper when it's dry. Then there's another technique that I've been using called wet on wet, where you get some water and you wet the paper first, and then you add your color to it, so it kind of spreads out. So I have some dirty water. You may need to clean your water um, if it gets too dirty, but I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to wet here first. I'm just using my water and I'm putting it in the area first before I put any color on my brush. And Now I'm going to go in and get some of my yellow and notice when I drop it on it's very drippy. So I'm just going to put some yellow on there with my water and it fills the space up a lot. So now I'm going to go in with some of my orange here and I'm going to kind of start letting the orange kind of drop in to that wet area so it can kind of fuse with the others and I'm going to let it kind of, kind of dab in my brush to create kind of some shading here, get some red in there. Notice when I put it in, it starts. I'll get a little water and kind of dab it, some of the water, and see it kind of spreads and mixes with the other colors. <laughs> 